Welcome, friends and family. We are reading through scripture today, uh, and we've been reading through it uh, through a two-year plan. You can join us online if you'd like. Uh, but it, uh, the vo- verses that stuck out to me today are Luke chapter 24, verses 38 and 39, which says this. Jesus is speaking to his disciples uh, after the resurrection. He says, why are you afraid? Jesus asked. Why are your hearts filled with doubt? Look at my hands. Look at my feet. You can see that it's really me. Touch me and make sure that I'm not a ghost. Because ghosts don't have bodies, as you see that I do. Jesus tells his disciples to stop being afraid and stop doubting. Stop being afraid and stop doubting. Here's the thing. His deci- and we know this, just read through the Gospels. The, the disciples saw all of his miracles, like crazy miracles, feeding of the 5,000, healing people, raising people from the dead, like Lazarus, like they saw all the things. And not only that, they heard Jesus say over and over again, I'm going to be crucified and I'm going to be raised in three, dead, three days. I'm going to be crucified, three days later back to life. I'm going to be crucified, right? He, over and over he tells them, they, they, listen, they even saw him resurrected before this, before this scene. They even saw him, like, like they got word that he was resurrected, like, hey, they were like, hey, we've seen him, right? All this stuff. And yet, they were still frightened. And yet, being face to face with the resurrected Jesus, they still doubted. And here's the deal. I get it. And I bet you do too. I need to be reminded over and over again to stop being frightened and to stop doubting. I need to be, and so do you. Stop being frightened and stop doubting. We don't need to be afraid. We don't need to doubt. Why? Because Jesus rose from the dead, defeating all of our enemies. In the process through his death and resurrection, all the ones that, that have eternal consequences. And if that is true, if this resurrected Son of the living God rose from the dead, if he is for us, who can be against us? We just need to stop being afraid and stop doubting. So let's remember that again today and take it back to him in prayer. Father, we um, thank you for our promised salvation. We thank you that our victory is already won in you. We thank you for the resurrection of your son. We thank you for the hope that comes through that, for the eternal life that comes through that, for the freedom from sin that comes through that today and all the implications of the resurrection of your son, Jesus of Nazareth. For this we give you glory. And we pray all these things in your son's name. And all of God's people said, amen. If you want to join us, graceunitedlr.com. Find the app. Join the Bible reading plan. See you next time.